Thank you for introducing me. Hello, everyone. I'm Kazuki Itzubo. Thank you for coming to my session today. My session is today uh, how to read beta security through a mini hardening project. When I was in Japan, I was organizer of hardening project, mini hardening project. So today I want to talk about that. My name is Kazuki. I was organizer of mini hardening in Japan. Uh, that's why I'm standing here. When I was in Japan, I also belonged to OWASP Japan marketing team. I will talk about it later. Moving to job history, I was working for Nikkei, which is a famous economic newspaper company in Japan. Uh, that company is owner of Financial Times. You know that? And after that, I moved to AWS Japan, and then as a cloud support engineer. Cloud support engineer is a customer support by phone and chat and email, but a very technical position. When customer is asking about their problem, I will help them as far as we can, even if it's not issue an AWS. And last August, I moved to Dublin to build a Japanese team. AWS customer support uh, Japanese team has two sites uh, in Seattle and in Tokyo, and so Dublin is third site. And you can see my name if you like Japanese questions. You can see that. Uh, you know, I think you know AWS, but today you, AWS has uh, over 80 services. I know almost that. And in Japan, we have OWASP marketing team, which is volunteer group for letting people know security. About 10 people are working here, at there, that thing. I'm not security expert, so I'm kind of support engineer, but I strongly respect you security experts, so I belong to that team. The main purpose is marketing of OWASP. So having a booth at a big conference. Then we gave up papers to explain the OWASP. Lots of people said like that, oh, I've never heard OWASP. Or like that, oh, I heard OWASP's name, but realized uh, so it's helpful. So that's our motivation. WASP Japan has a local chapter as well. Kyushu, Kansai, Sendai, Fukushima. These are large areas and cities in Japan. And sometimes mini hardening project, which is a feature I organized, is cooperated with them and exhibited a competition. Okay, this is today's agenda. I will talk about Hardening project first. It's an introduction. Then let's talk about original and many hardening project in second topic. As a third topic, I will explain the detail of my our competition. I will talk about motivation and past competitions, and then showing technical elements. And fourth, since the title of this session is how to read, so I will also talk about creating team. If you want to do a similar event, I think you might find it helpful. And finally, fifth topic is conclusion. Okay, let's start. The first topic is about hardening project. Nowadays, there's a variety of risks. You know, for example, DDoS by Mirai botnet is well known issue today. That kind of botnets are possible to generate a huge traffic. And vulnerable devices are not easy to fix that. And another cloud breed was well known issue. 
I believe only one, only one byte debug, but it was a large issue. Also, we cannot ignore kind of services like Shodan. In the world, there are so many open ports. But you know, today, you can see lots of competitions, like CTF. Capture the flag becoming very common. Seccon in Japan is the biggest CTF event, I believe. Of course, you know, DEFCON is one of the biggest conference and attack and defense CTF events. And CTF time is showing lots of competitions. These competitions are focusing on very technical if things. Very nice, really nice. And DEFCON is including social hack event. But, however, who is thinking about business in security area? Our salary is coming from sales. Of course, I know many, many security guys are thinking about your, their own business. I know that. Here, I want to say there are no events or competitions with considering real situation, as far as I know. Yes, here we have hardening project. Hardening project is not only security competition, but also focusing on business. Let me talk about rules at first. We are basically focusing on three kinds of elements. To understand hardening project, I think evaluation rules are a good step to know. First one, was, first one is report. Every team have to send a report regarding their investigation till end of the competition. As you know, in real situation, it's very important to report and share the situation. Second one is sales. If you have e-commerce site, SLA is directly applied to sales amount. You cannot stop important e-commerce site, so you have to protect your business as well. The last one is security investigation. Our name is starting by hardening, so security investigation is important, of course. In hardening project, each team take over vulnerable environment. Basically, there are e-commerce site. Because it's easy to measure SLA. And there is other content, such as customer support form, and VPN endpoint, and monitoring system, their own, and uh, Windows remote client as well. You have to avoid stopping. SLA is important things to score. And hardening project is trying to simulate real business. So each team has to treat customer and their stakeholders as well, like boss. Overview is like this. Blue guys are attendees and green guys are professional team, like me. Uh, attendees in left side are having environment, including e-commerce site. And you can see firewall database as well. You can see that. It depends on story. And in right upper side, there is a professional team. The team is trying to inspect servers. And then stopping important daemon, reporting servers, and disappearing contents. So such a daily thing. Some important things are backup, log dive deep, and monitoring. And please see right on the side, here is Flora of Game Master. Basically, this Flora is simulating customer, such as buying, web, buying something and a crawling website. 
Also, Clora, this one, is uh, evaluating SLA of each website. Which means, for example, even if e-commerce site is still alive, you can see, uh, see that and possible to buy something. But if customer support form is down, then some customer might be stopped buying. While we are in business, there are lots of stakeholders here. In a mini hardening project, each team has to be aware of them. Probably your boss is ordering something during competition, but it might be malicious email. Next, let me talk about original and mini hardening project. The original one is called hardening project. It's a simple project name. And our one is called mini, since it's smaller than original one. Original hardening project started since 2012. It is a security competition, but focused on business. We also need a kind of business skills, such as writing email or reporting. And recently, high-level team were sending email for all customers in database when data breaches happen. That's our expected behavior, but it's not, it's not easy to do that. Then the problem is original one is so big event. And our mini is smaller than original one, so it's possible to do uh, frequently. Our mini hardening project started since 2014. Here, let me show you difference. Lots of difference here is, but mostly depending on scale. Our competition is smaller than original one. The member is half, and the competition time is less than half, three hours. But our mini is not difficult, I think. Nodes are only two to three. Security issues are 10 to 20. Here, you can fix them easily, such as bind update, WordPress update, and fix IP tables by such kind of activities. Then, your enemy is time. You only have three hours. It's very short. And in original hardening project, there are 60, uh, sorry, 50 to 60 shoes. That's too much, I think. Usually, attackers can inspect servers as well. Also, attacker members are different. We, have, we only have three to four persons, but our original hardening project has over 10 persons, only attackers. And another difference is frequency. And third topic is explanation of a mini housing project. These pictures are during competitions. When you attend to hardening project, possible to experience a security issues. I think that is a precious opportunity. Also, it is suitable for training to know a weak point. A mini is only one day event. Mostly using common and security, uh, sorry, common and simple security issues, we are thinking about some attendees might be novice. And you know, I'm very shy. Japanese is mostly shy, I think. So requirement is not seen. I can go event without friends. In past, we have end competitions during almost two years. We do not create environment each time. We are using same environment in sharp one series, so five times. We had around 100 attendees in series one competitions. 
And after that, we decided to recreate a new environment. But then I already decided to move to Dublin at early 2016. So today, other guys are having a responsibility for that. They already had three events and 68 attendees invited with brilliant new environment. This is timeline. Basically, we have competition at Saturday. Start at 10.30, then some team is starting icebreak. Because most three person does not know each other, which means first meeting. Competition itself is starting at 12, and end time is 15. This is, again, only one day event. So we have to decide ranking and best team till 16. I will talk about tech element later, but this one hour is quite busy. After recognition and ending session, we start ranking. This is also a good opportunity for networking. The next is technical element, infrastructure and security issues, and also scoring. First of all, we are using AWS. We created environment by using VPC and EC2. And we, of course, sent requests of simulated events for AWS. It's approved. Based on policy of AWS, it is basically allowed except a specific very cheap instance. OK, you can see overview of infrastructure. Uh, left side, green guys are you know, professional team, and blue guys are attendees. And on left side, here is the resources for professional team. And right side is resources for attendees. And then go detail. And uh, sorry, it's completely closed environment and using VPC to implement all stuff. Please see next to right green guys. Uh, there is a managed resources, which is uh, controlled by professional team. There is a root CA and DNS registrar, root DNS, TLD DNS, sorry, I lost too long, but also active DNS, and mail services, paste bin services, tiny services is here. Yes, we can, we created that, and other services, because it's a closed environment. And after that, also attendees has also the resources. It's an, please think about SAS, it is a service as a, sorry, software as a service. Not servers, but it's a services. And here is a, you can see that firewall, mail, wiki, storage, and monitoring system, and DNS cache, and DNS and web servers as well. Each attendee has clients here. There is a Windows client and Chandler client. It's a Linux. First, first time, attendees are connected to each client. Then it is possible to access the resources. OK. And uh, wait a moment. Yeah. And you can see three servers in one of the resources here. It's a fake as resources, which means fake DNS and dummy e-commerce site are phishing services. If client is cheating, uh, attendees might be access to fake as resources. And attackers has uh, own resources as well. Here is C2 and malware host. And here is a lot of clients. Because some attendees uh, usually investigation by IP address rules based on based on IP address rules, IP tables. So it is supposed over here. And if a specific address is blocked, and then another instance used. At last, you can see only one server here. It's a crawler. So Clora is evaluating SLA and sales amount, like um, simulating customer behavior from here. It's an overview. 
and moving to vulnerabilities. You know, common security issues are using old versions, Bash, Apache, OpenSSL, Splat 2. These old versions are having critical issues. So I think you cannot forget uh, major issues such as uh, hard breed or shell shock. Also, well-known issues are very simple. Well, uh, really weak password is perfectly working. Especially, default configuration is another issue. So for example, default of a patch is causing issues when loads increased. Typically, we have to configure max clients then. At last, another issue is SSL certificate expiring. Then we should update ex expired certificate as well. <laughs> okay, please imagine if competition is started and you found issues like an weak password, old versions. Okay, change password and update old versions. Okay, you did that. After spending a few hours, professional team will provide short movie. It's a fairly Japanese, but I translated, so please see that. と we also have enjoyable mind. After this declaration, professional team will start rushing. These attacks are harder than before. If critical issues in environment are not resolved, you can see server rebooting, stopping important daemons, and content disappearing by deleted or encrypted. And also, slow HTTP DDoS attack affected to their SLA. Here, necessary investigations are backup content, stop unused daemon, finding malicious file or process, change weak password. When competition is over, we have to calculate score. As I mentioned before, we are not only checking servers, but also reading reports carefully. We are focusing on business, again. Reports are important things. Even if issue is only reported, we will count as a report score. Fixing security issues are counting score but it's not highest score. So reporting and fixing, if team satisfied both condition, it could be highest. And to evaluate, we made a shell script because we only have one hour after the competition ended. So automatically judging expected fix on each server. After that, Manually, we are seeing uh, irregular or fine play in each environment, manually. Okay, here is showing score sheet of mini hardening project. So, start from left side. Here is a, a vulnerabilities name, and then expected investigation here which means answers. 
And here's a checkpoint. How to check by professional team. And we also have to be base score. And last card line is team scores, constructed by fixed, fixed score and reported score. Fixed score, fixed score is checking real environment by script automatically, and which means seeing fixed or not. If not fixed, putting zero. And to judge reports, reported score, uh, professional team read reports carefully, and if issue is reported, uh, putting here base score. I think you can guess, uh, sorry, it's theory Japanese, but you can guess, for example, here is a grep root FTP users or a grep, uh, I here, yeah, sorry, grep ethos password or sudo clon tab hyphen L. Like that. It's a ba very basic things. Okay, last section of this topic. Flow is very simple one. Smelting customer, showing server is living or not. Verify content, whether the latest or not. Latency and port check. It is not difficult technically, but Clora is quite important for showing SLA and real-time metrics and simulating customer behavior. First topic is creating own event. In our case, to manage the AWS infrastructure, uh, Japanese WASP Forum security uh, organization sponsored us officially. It costs around $100 each competition. Of course, team members are all volunteer, so I have to ask them to provide private time for this project. Basically, it's not easy to meet in person. Of course, professionals are very busy. And another problem is that a person is in Okinawa, which is a island in Japan, and uh, 1,500 kilometers away Tokyo, from Tokyo. Please imagine uh, Milano of Italy is far from here, and uh, maybe 1,500 kilometers away. So we are discussing in online by using Slack, and file sharing by Google Doc and uh, video meeting by Google Hangout. Even though mini hardening project is, I said, it's a smaller than original one, but we need a lot of effort. Before competition, organizer has tasks such as uh, team building and uh, implement vulnerabilities and making shell script and attacking to attendees in competition day. It's exciting time, but for white hackers. After that, we have to evaluate, decide ranking, and write feedback for every team. But it was not alone. We had four core members when we start. Then human power is not strong, but easy to talk to each other. Today, the team has at least seven members, except me. I'm remotely helping them a bit. So they split the role to organizers and attackers, infrastructure team, and Clora team as well. Talking about my benefit, my benefit. A first thing is networking opportunity. I can connect with other specialists and I felt my growth. This is the last section, conclusion. If you are interested in a kind of that event, uh, personally, I think you can use BWA, which is a broken web application project, to start from small things. It's a, uh, so it's a now inactive, but you can imagine what kind of vulnerabilities are possible to break and how to fix that. You can try that. Another tool is, you know, WASP ZAP, which is a 
handful tool for evaluating automatically. After competition, we can drink together in Izakaya, which is a Japanese common pub like、uh, drinking space. We are really enjoying t a l k i n g each other across the team and professional team. This is a nice opportunity for networking. And this is the last slide. It's my pleasure if my presentation is interesting for you. And please contact me if you are interested in project. I can introduce many hardening projects and explain about the original hardening project as well.、Uh, so welcome to contact me by Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Sorry, my post is almost Japanese, but I can reply from, for you too in English. That's all. Thank you very much.